what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Throwing rocks, breaking into businesses, stealing, and shooting at the police. It is the newest reality show to hit Fox. <laughs> I'm just messing with y'all. It's not a reality show. It is reality, fam. St. Louis set it off. Four police officers were shot on Monday night amid riots, protesting, and some other things all in response to the murder of George Floyd, a Minneapolis man who was strangled by a police officer, assisted by three of his homies. These protests are happening all over the country if you've been living under a rock. We had a protest in Houston today. I want to salute my people out in Houston, uh, Trey, The Truth, Bun, all of the organizers, the city officials, everybody came together in solidarity to try to address this thing. Uh, not an easy thing to do. You got two, two sides to the story, right? And everybody feels like they're right. Clearly, the people is right. Clearly, Police brutality is an issue in America. And this whole stance, uh, this so-called tough on crime, this shit don't work, man. Because when they start talking about tough on crime, that's cold for tough on black folks. When Donald Trump fix, fix his stank mouth to say, where he get in front of a whole bunch of police officers in New, in New York, and he says, don't worry about being a little rough with them when you put them into the car, you know, give them a little nudge. When this fool gets on a conference call with governors and he tells the governors that they're being weak and they need to be dominant, they need to dominate, they need to dominate their constituents. There's something wrong with that, fam. That's not how it works in a civilized society. So now you got four officers who have been shot that's laying up in the hospital. And I'm going to tell you something. It's Donald Trump's fault. But it's also the fault of the officers who are dumb enough and evil enough, wicked enough to listen to him. Like Derek Chauvin and the rest of them that held George Floyd down. Like the rest of them that rushed inside of Breonna Taylor's home and murdered her as she was in her own bed. Like the rest of them who was covering for the McMichaels, Gregory and Travis who killed Ahmaud Arbery. The list goes on and on and on and on and on. But police brutality is a major problem here in America. Those officers are not shot. They're not laying up in the hospital if not for the brutality that exists, that's pervasive all throughout America in every single department police department in America, you have those KKK card carrying members. If not for them, it's not happening. I saw somebody who posted something saying, violence begets violence. Well, that works both ways, you see? So you can say, well, violence begets violence in support of police officers using violence or other people using violence against the, the looters, protesters 
being attacked by police officers or you can say violence begets violence in support of the protesters, of the people in the community who are attacked every day, who's basically under siege by the police. I wish I could be more positive and upbeat and jolly for your family. But after all of these beatings and killings at the hand of law enforcement, I'm numb. I feel nothing. No more talk. What the haters talking about?